Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this channel. My name is Mr. Dancy Pants, and today we are bringing you a tie tutorial. It is a tutorial on how to do a Windsor knot and a couple of variations on the Windsor knot. So let me go ahead and take the vest off, undo the knot, and we'll begin. So we're going to start this off with the blade on our right side, the tail on our left side, and the tail is going to come down to about the fifth button in the shirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tail, we're going to place it in the center. The blade is going to go over top. We're going to bring it up and through, all the way through. And then it's going to come around the back, back up to the front, and loop it through one more time. And so that's going to create a little shape where it overlaps right there. Now we're going to take the blade, bring it across the front, keeping it just a little loose. We're going to tuck it around the back, up, and through. Now, because we kept it a little loose, that'll allow us to bring our finger through so that we can feed the blade through the loop that we're creating just like this. Now, a lot of people are tempted to take the blade and yank on it. What you want to do is hold it against your shirt and pull it up from the top, from back to front, then you bring it through just like that. And what you can do is you can either fluff it out sideways for a wider knot or bring it up through for something a little bit tighter. Either way, you're going to take the knot, holding the tail, and push the knot up to the throat there. Now, we're going to take the loop on the back and feed the tail through that loop that keeps it from flying around, going a little crazy. If you have a wider neck, you will need to adjust the starting point of your tail a little bit higher up. Similarly, if your neck is a little bit thinner, you're going to need to bring it down some. If the tail does not reach that loop, a handy trick is to simply tuck it through the collar button and the second button in the shirt. Don't tuck it through this one, tuck it through up here and that'll keep it hidden out of sight. Once you have adjusted the knot, go ahead and reach up, bring the collar back down. And there you go. This works really well with a variety of shirts. This is one of the more common utility knots that you will see out and about. The first variation that we're going to do is a triple Windsor knot. What we're going to do is we're going to choke up just a little bit more on the tail to give us more blade to work with. We're going to bring the blade over and instead of bringing it up and through, we're going to bring it around and then back over one more time. So we've already created a little extra bulk right here. Now we're going to take the blade, bring it up and over the same as the full Windsor knot or double Windsor knot, which is why this is a triple. We're going to bring it around the back and up and over. And then one more time, we're going to bring it around the front, up and through the same as the full Windsor knot. Now we're going to create that little bit of a dimple right here, feed the blade through as before. Again, you want to press against your shirt and lift up here. Fix the loop there, there we go. Bring that up, and then we're going to pull the blade down. This creates a much wider knot to sit on a wider collar. This is also much better if you happen to have a thinner neck and you have a lot of tie that you need to kind of eat up with a little bit of extra girth. We tuck it into the back as we did before, right there, to keep everything under control. And then we bring our collar down and adjust. And you see this fills up the collar. You can bring this little dimple in here. You want to keep that dimple there. 
and just adjust and smooth as needed. The final variation of this Windsor knot that we're going to talk about today is the Onassis knot. Now the Onassis knot is effectively an unfinished Windsor knot. So we're going to go through the same steps that we did before. Now you can start this either with the full or double Windsor knot or the triple Windsor knot as before. I'm going to do the full Windsor knot variation here. So we bring it over, up, and through. Then we bring it behind, up, and through. Then we bring it across, up, and through. Now from here, we go ahead and shimmy the knot up and adjust the blade. Then we tuck the tail in and fold the collar down. The Onassis knot is excellent for ties that feature a pattern because it presents a solid stripe going straight down the shirt and hides the knot behind it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Keep checking back on the channel for more videos on exotic tie knots, along with some of our other content, hopefully to keep you entertained. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I am more than happy to address them. We'll see you next time.